So today the, we do have this beautiful Tesla 3 and it's 2021 Standard Plus car and it is for sale. There is a price on it, especially I'm not going to take the stickers out, but I'm not going to promote I'm selling it. And I'm just telling you what's the prices for this car right now on the market and what you can compare with Tesla 3 because it's it's always right now it's on demand. Uh, it's a really popular car, especially in Los Angeles. The supercharged stations, they just everywhere. And you can buy this car instead of gas car and try yourself how you're going to live with electric car with future, which is already right here in 2023. So what about the design? There is a lot of uh, million words say about the design. It's super cute. It's nice, small car, you know, especially when it's white. Uh, there is nothing like there is no negativity about Tesla 3, about the design, the way it looks outside or inside, I can say, or like, if you have something to say about the design Tesla 3, just put your comments below because nothing to say from my side. So we do have a trunk in the front. We do have a huge trunk in the back. The interior is kind of small for me. I don't like it because the car is too tight. I mean, yeah, maybe if it's a performance, you want to take it on the truck, you know, and uh, drive it super fast. That's the nice car. But daily driving is just too small for me because all the panels are just pushing my legs and pushing my body. I don't like it. Personally, I never buy Tesla 3. But if I would be smaller or skinnier, yeah, that would be a nice choice. Again, should I buy this one instead of like any gas car for the same price? <clears throat> if you don't have a family or your family small enough to buy the Tesla 3, buy it. Why not? Especially supercharged stations. They like everywhere and you might going to get free supercharge with the car. If the previous owner bought it, then it's going to be transferable on the new name. I have no idea about the new one. I think it's not for free and you have to pay for that. I have no idea about how much you're going to spend money on a charging if you're going to compare with the same car for the same price. But the fact I know from the Uber drivers, because sometimes I'm getting an Uber and there is a Tesla 3 and I'm always asking the guys, what are you doing? I mean, if you compare this car with gas car, are you spending more or less? Everybody telling me different way, but most of the time I'm hearing that I'm spending less money than I would. I used to drive my Toyota Camry. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's what's going on. That's why I'm driving Tesla for Uber. And some of the Uber drivers, they're not even buying that car. They get it from like companies, uh, rental companies, right? For the one week or two weeks and they get in super cheap prices. <laughs> it's working out somehow for them. So Tesla 3, there is a lot of different cool, nice engineering uh, features on the car. For example, one of the example that's a glass roof right so we do have a glass you cannot open it uh but it's a, it's a panoramic roof same time so from the inside it giving you that illusion that not not illusion it giving you that kind of thing you bought uh, not only cheap car you bought something expensive you know luxury because you do have a panoramic roof that's super cool so i think u.s market is not going to allow chinese electric cars to be on the market but basically, like if you're going to check Europe countries, there is a lot of Chinese cars on the street, electric one. So it is a huge competition for the Tesla. But again, if you buy the Tesla, I think even right now you can buy 2017 Tesla 3 and uh, you're not going to have a lot of problems. I mean, I don't think you're going to have any problems because again, at the auction, I did see the cars with 200,000 miles plus and they're still drivable. Looks like they're still okay. But if you're going to buy the Chinese uh, car, I have no idea how long it's going to last for and uh, what is going to happen because it's not improved. So they, they might buy technology, they might do something similar to that, but they just don't have that many resources as a Tesla does. So from the electric cars, again, I would say Tesla, that's number one of my choice for the brand, for the car itself, for the technology I'm buying, because I cannot buy the Mercedes electric car or BMW electric car. I tried those and a lot of people tried those cars also and uh, they regret because again, the car itself, like Mercedes, like the one I showed before, EQS, it's such a nice, beautiful car outside. 
and you're so excited because you buying that car and it's kind of the same size as a Tesla X, but you buying it cheaper and your lease term may be a little bit shorter. So the payment for that car is gonna be cheaper than Tesla X. But at the end of the day, after half year or year with that car, you're gonna be like, oh, why I bought it? It was a huge mistake for me, but you cannot return it. I mean, what are you gonna do? You can trade it, you can lose money, but most of the people, again, they're gonna drive till the end of the lease period. And it, only after they're gonna turn the car uh, in, like return, they're gonna tell you truth. They're gonna tell you uh, what's happening, how they've been struggling with the car and this and that. So for me, if I wanna buy an electric car, I'm gonna go with Tesla. If I have a limited amount of money, I want to spend 25,000, I would go with Tesla S older one because it's like I say, it's much better quality. And I think that cars, those cars, they're going to live for like at least 10 more years. So since I do not have this car on application for the Tesla, I have to do it manually. Again, I do not have the key that used to be back in the days, like in my old Tesla S, I can push it at the top of the trunk or rear trunk. This one not. We do have a small trunk in the front so what we needed we need for the charger maybe some some kind of other stuff the front plate nobody doing that that's it right so not so many uh space under the hood under the front trunk but again like mercedes they not even want you to open that so we do have a hub caps it's not installed i think whatever preferable so there is a lot of space here. We do have a we do have a bucket over there. We don't have a spare tire and we don't have a pump. Again, like if you want to see the materials, right? That's the piece of wood and it's super kind of cheap. I mean, the car is supposed to be light, but again, the quality, the quality of Tesla 3, it's not the car you should go by quality that's the quality that's the quality of the cheap electric car with huge amount of technology inside but we do have a power lift gate that's kind of cool so what's going on inside the car inside the car there's pretty much enough space Pretty much enough space but again not for me if i'm gonna sit on the back i kind of have enough space for my legs for my body i do have a usb-c charging ports but when the car is going to be in move i'm not going to feel comfortable myself because it's super short the suspension is super tight and in the back of the seat i might going to do short uh distance but for the long distance i'm gonna throw up that's for sure guarantee but same time again, like I say, we do have a nice uh, panoramic roof and it's super cool, especially when you sit on the back, you do have a, two huge glasses on the top of your roof and it's not boring, you know? And the rear glass, it's such a huge, it's giving you a lot of cool emotions when you sit in on the back of the Tesla. Da, 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 da. So that's the usage of the car, right? So there is a wheel and tear, 32,000 miles. Look at the seat. You are absolutely right. It's already losing its form, kind of. But again, 200,000 miles, the seat was not ripped off completely, the one I see at the auction. And usually around 100,000 miles, the seats, they are kind of jumped a little bit but i never see the tesla falling apart on materials but they just super practical practical they just kind of cheap but same time they are practical so you can clean it easily and uh, all that kind of stuff so we do have a double triplex triplex we do have a double glass on the doors that giving you more uh sound proven but it's still not enough because you can still hear what's going on outside if there is a uh, huge truck pass you by or you know somebody blowing the leaves from the street everything you're gonna hear in this car and it's not only in tesla 3 tesla s or tesla x they do have the same problem but again you're closing your eyes because you bought a nice car 
and it's you bought it for the technology you bought it because you want an electric one plug in you don't want to spend money on the gas you don't want to think about your oil change your engine knocking or something else you just want to plug it charge it and drive it that's the perfect car for you and i think it's going to be future controllable future somebody going to control it your autopilot you know this and that is a car gonna repo itself uh if you didn't do the payment of time maybe i have no idea but that's what all the people talking about not all the people there are people talking about and it could be why not so for example you bought the car that's a lease or that's a finance right and you're not doing the payments on time or you just don't want to do the payment so basically i can activate autopilot and i can take this car back to my location because you didn't do the payment on time right and and some things if you're going to go deep uh this way you might can control it like you don't want to go from the city so i'm going to put the uh, circle around los angeles you cannot go to san diego you have to buy the special permit you know to use the freeway and all kind of stuff can you do that on a camry or toyota corolla or dodge not yet can you do that on tesla right now yes you can and that's the huge question for me for you and for the whole generation upcoming so i would say tesla 3 right now that's not only on the high demand because it's the cheapest tesla you can buy and you can afford but besides that there's a lot of different cars on the market like the uh, kia or hyundai but you cannot compete with those cars because tesla okay let's go from this way i think it's going to be more understandable if i'll tell you something so number one number one why are rolls royce or the cars like that so expensive bentley for example or rolls royce because they build in them like pieces each car that's uh that's a unique that's a piece of it you know the and i think rolls royce even right now you cannot find exactly the same car uh build two or three of them so it's only it's always going to be the difference so basically when they sell in the car they trying to pull all most most of the time all the money whatever they spend on that unit so the cheap cars like that like the like the tesla they going opposite way they produce a lot of different cars i mean a lot of same cars a lot and they sell them over the time so basically they're making the money not right away but right away they're still making but the main idea is to build a lot of cars millions of those cars and sell them over the period of time and get a lot of money plus the profit that's why tesla building a lot of those cars and they still dropping the price prices on all of them they were not touching tesla s and tesla x until I think right now because they stopped selling those I bought the uh, super expensive <laughs> Tesla X new one and uh, they drop it but Tesla 3 they've been dropping and dropping and dropping so they basically been doing they pushing uh other brands out of the market just because they don't want anyone to be on the US market and actually everywhere even the, in China that's what's going on so you buying the Tesla 3 you basically buying technology you're not buying the super quality super quiet car it is a quiet car there is no engine you know you basically illuminating that uh, problem of oil leak so your driveway it's always going to be dry driveway always dry that's like insane i mean if you buy the bmw you use one and on your driveway there is no oil it means you didn't buy the bmw that's that's just a reality you know but at the same time you buy buying technology you buying all those you know the the car with no buttons all the touch screen all the 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 huge ipod and all that kind of stuff and you playing with that you, you there is a video games that's it so what's going on with tesla 3 i mean is it comfortable no it's not uh is it like super easy to drive yes kind of it is but the new one with that uh, touch screen uh, transmission shifter and the uh, switches for the turn signal it's just insanely bad and i'll tell you later on why uh what are we getting here we're getting a lot of different things on the main screen on the main screen we do have a full self-driving computer on this car basically i think most of the new cars they they do have a 
full self-driving computer, not the old one, 18, 17, 19. There is sometimes 2.5 computer uh, for the autopilot. So basically right now we have a full self-driving. We do have a, all the cars shown on the display. We do have a traffic lights if it's green, if it's red. It's going to show. We do have some people walking over there. And when the light is going to turn green, the screen going to do some noise. Uh, so cool. So basically, what do you got? You got the uh, Sony PlayStation. It's super fast. I mean, even this car, it's a standard plus. So there is a lot of Tesla 3 you can buy. You can buy standard. You can buy standard plus. You can get the performance all wheel drive. And from the outside, what I do like about Tesla, especially Tesla 3, because there is a million of cars on the road. What I do like from the outside, you cannot even tell what kind of Tesla 3 this guy driving. Is it like all wheel drive performance? or standard or standard plus because there is nothing outside it's only tesla 3 uh beige and that's it and if you're going to put on the standard you're going to put the rims from the performance it's going to be look like performance car so there is not so many things changed so it's not the wood it's a plastic 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 so basically the whole car inside the door panels, the dashboard, the seats, if you want to remove it yourself uh, with like couple screwdrivers and couple tools, you can do so. There is nothing uh, super, super hard to do inside the car. What about soundproofing? I mean, uh, not so much, not so much quiet car and whatever's going on outside, you can hear it inside. Here actually you cannot pull the finger out. My Tesla, my new Tesla X, you can take the finger and put it between the glass and the side pillar and it's going to be outside and it's kind of normal i've been at the service already several times and they've been telling me you know it's kind of normal it's okay it's okay one twenty thousand dollar car and it's fine you have those huge gaps so basically what all the tesla wants they want you to get the application and from that application you can do a lot of different things besides you can open close the car you can check what's the status of the battery and this and that you can start your car without actual key because actual key we do have a card right here so that's that's the thing i don't like about new teslas also even the new x if you don't have a phone you have a key you have to come and put that actual key on the side pillar in the middle to open or lock the car that's super that's super uncomfortable so what about the menu what we can do if you want to save some there is a lot of different things uh you probably see a lot of different reviews or maybe one of your friends has that so what are you doing you can do it from the steering wheel and basically whatever you choose you always can control it from the steering wheel buttons and the scroller but i want to talk about this one so <coughs> so i want to talk about what's going on in the menu so if you want to save uh if you want to save the energy you want to save your uh range so you have to do acceleration on the chill not the standard so it's not the performance car basically we do not have uh sport mode right so steering mode we have a standard we can do sport so it's going to be super heavy but we can do comfort comfort i think it's a it's a much better for this car uh so stopping mode roll hold creep so roll it's not gonna st basically hold that's the best idea to live it on because when you're going to the traffic light you stop in the car the car gonna hold so you basically not gonna do the same way as a uh, gas car like you're releasing the brake pedal and the car rolling so basically if you want to save some some gas you want to save some uh, percentage of your battery just go on an easy mode because otherwise it's not a performance car so what else we have here we got the software i showed it before this car doing exactly kind of the same thing you have to push it hold it and now we're going to service menu and see what we got what we got here so basically ac gonna turn off speed limited and <laughs> okay got it so service alerts so we do have a service alerts that's one of the interesting thing so basically on a newer car we do have a customer report so the door is open nothing you know tpms 
soft soft warning so basically i have to put some uh, some air in the tires and just do the calibration or the for the service we do have much more different things to check it out i don't want to go over it because honestly i have no idea uh most of the time what kind of codes is that so i have to google it if i want to there is a temperature after autopilot i see the turbo so we're not turbo again if you have no idea how to use it like me i just know how to go there uh you don't need it but there is a lot of different things besides the besides the alerts you can do adjustment if you want to play with that i do not want to do so so actually the car wash mode that's that's super cool thing because when you're going through the uh, self car wash uh, you have to activate that mode so the car not gonna roll on the drive it's gonna stay on the neutral because usually if you're not doing that mode i think again on the new cars like my x doesn't have the car wash mode anymore i don't know why so exit service menu that's it uh, you can google it why why this car has a joe mode joe mode that's because of the guy whose name is joe he complained about that so and basically they did that mode especially so the car not gonna chimp like ding 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 you didn't put your belts whatever so just because of that complaint they put that mode i mean it used to be a long time ago not right now so i hope we're gonna not hope for sure i'm going to la auto show in november and i'm gonna check new tesla because it's gonna be much uh much more cars than uh, orange county it's going to be the main one for los angeles la auto show uh we're going to check 2024 tesla 3 we're going to see what's the difference on that there is some changes but not so many and uh in my opinion again if you want to buy this kind of car you have to buy it doesn't matter what my prediction on the prices is still going to go down a little bit because right now you can buy this car like this car 27,000 for 27,000 you might gonna buy the Honda Accord Why not something like the same year 22 21 that's just super ridiculous but again why the people not buying Teslas why why the people still buying the Honda or Dodges or something else some of them they don't wanna they don't need that technology for example like I tired of Tesla to be honest with you and I don't want to do it anymore but some people they just scared because it's electric car what i'm gonna do if i'm gonna get uh, if i'm gonna run out of battery who i'm gonna call and this and that even the price is so sweet they still don't want to buy it and um uh, i don't know it just may be a matter of time or just maybe decision what they're gonna go but again there is a lot of cars and there is a lot of people the market is super hot and it's super huge all the cars they sell each single car has its own uh buyer so there is nothing like unsellable or unbreakable that's what i was saying and uh also the good question about would i buy the car like that for example if i do have a choice between buy the tesla 3 2019 2020 even 2021 for like 23 24 thousand i still can buy the car like that maybe a little bit higher mileage than this or i would buy old tesla s like i used to have 13 14 15 I would say I would go with Tesla S and you know why because number one the quality was much better on old cars because they've been trying to impress the people impress the customers and bring more buyers for the company right now they don't care because the technology itself the name of the Tesla it's already up there and everybody knows it's better to buy the Tesla than the Kia or Hyundai just because you're gonna sit in a huge line to just charge your car even you do have a card for free charging blah 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 whatever so between those two you're gonna go with tesla that's number one before the quality of the car like door panels you know the way it drives the suspension all the materials it was much much better and i'm feeling the difference between my 2023 tesla x long range and my 2017 x the one i sold 75d like that car was much more uh better quality than the new one it's just a matter of fact there is nothing i can do with that and that's it so thank you so much guys for watching it it was a beautiful tesla 3 today i think you like it 
If you do have a lot of questions, just put the comments below, I'm going to answer because we do have a short amount of time and we're trying to, you know, show you as much as we can and I'm trying to do my best on that. So put your comments below, put some thumbs up, likes, if you want to hear something, you want to know the prices. Actually, I'm going to tell you this at the end of the video, the prices for this car right now goes between 23 and 25,000, 27,000, you can buy it. Can you buy the Tesla below 20,000 at the auction, a little bit older, high mileage? Yes, you can. And that's the period of time, October 2023, we are late. See you soon.